All about love, all 88 constellations. Iwit, I'm on booties, but insert. Pope Francis has the cross, and I had an aha moment. It's the face of a goat, for sure, with horns. But if you notice, Jesus Christ has J-H-E. My letters are J-H-E for my first name, and we find the number 777. Why does that matter? I'm going to blow your mind with this one and take my time. Now, review quickly. Zodiac means ring of animals. So the Pope's staff is that shape, for sure. Review. It's also the shape of what? Your cows have horns, like that Pope's staff. Review. Pardon me, back up. There's a number on this ear, 7354. This is for my animals. 7354 is what? G, C, E, and D. Now, I'm going to type it in. What comes up? G, C, E, and D. Boom. We get to gather. You see that? I'm blowing your mind. You got to do your research. They use the letters, man. G, C, E, D. Wow. Now, we have cattle call auditions with, you know, animal themes here. But like dancers, right? I was a dancer. We have human cattle. And then this is going to blow your mind. 777 seven, seven appears again. And what letters? J, H, and E, my name. I think that I'm a magician and I'm on a high frequency and someone likes my work. If you want a reading, rozen617 at gmail.com. Please donate $10 or whatever you can if you like this work. Yes, human cattle, a lizard eating a human being, cattle, animals. Cattle call, the numbers four, five. Same numbers as that cow appear with these little girls. Not necessarily evil, but there's something going on here. My beautiful children, I teach ballet. You have sheeple. Hmm, interesting. You have the book of numbers. Why is it important to know your numbers? It's in the Bible. And it was a TV show. Numbers. Why? Hmm. Now, back to your Pope and the goat face, right? Hmm. Once again, that's your Baphomet pentagram. By the way, you have a goat T. It's not always evil. It's about who uses the energy. But yes, it's satanic. And that is the goat. And the eye is square. Review. The Kaaba is square. The goat Square, eye pupil, black, white around the iwit, black kaba, it's your eyeball and the goat. And the rabbis have the square, like the eye of the goat. And earth is the cube in what? Geometry. Wow, I'm blowing your mind. Now, booties, yes, it's guru for guru or rug, carpet, carpet bombing. You find boo, the ghost, in the machine, Casper the friendly, the holy ghost or friendly ghost. Now, in booties, we have Acellus, Primus, all these names, Arabic and Greek. Look, al Karlups, Nekar, Izar, all these names. Ishtar, same word. Now, pardon me, Setub, what does that relate to? Shatum, hmm, well, that relates to, let's see here, uh, hmm, Acellus Primus, a tomb, booties, hmm. We have boots is satub, pardon me, yes, a mirror word, and it means shatum, haha, <laughs> pardon me there, bit blurry. Shatum is boots, okay, so B-O-O-T-E-S is a word in etymology, and it means speechless, silent, Yiddish, mute, so you're deaf people, Helen Keller, hmm, boots. Well, we know we have boots, puss in boots, and he's asking for a pair of boots with Walt Disney, a 33rd degree Freemason review, yep. And friends at Werner von Braun, Nazi scientists, you have, of course, these boots were made for walk-in. Frank Sinatra, Sinatra, Frank means red, Nancy Sinatra, interesting. Now, back in boots, we have a cellus, like celery, primus, like the group, primus. Hmm, a cellus is a blue to white dwarf, hence your hobbit, blue to white. Sort of, kind of like your what? Hmm. Your Boulet Society, the Black Skull and Bones. You see LeBron James is blue and white. Review. Interesting symbols here. And your Freemasons like blue and white. Interesting. Acellus. Acellus Primus. What does it mean? Donkeys. Are you kidding me? Donkey. Animals. Zodiac means ring of animals. Interesting. You have a pawns in your brain. It means the bridge of asses. Don Quixote. Hmm. Sancho Panza. Review. Here is your ass, or your donkey, or the pawns in your brain, review. You have a pawns in your brain, okay? Take your time with this one. I know, it's deep. I know. Yes, animal brains? Review. Sancho Panza, your solar plexus PlayStation, and Don Quixote rides a donkey. 
Wow. Now, Christ, or Jesus Christ, rides a donkey with a sun disc on his head for the sun, solar plexus, in your stomach. Pinocchio gets turned into a donkey in, Dal in Disney's movies. Yeah. And in the ballet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, it's a ballet, is a man who gets turned into a donkey. Why is that? The donkey is Saturn or Set, the red donkey is Saturn or Satan, Sabbat. You see how it works? Ballet is astrology. So if you go to the ballet, you're worshiping the devil, right? Now, Boots is the herdsman. Herd? Did you heard that? Did you hear that? Hmm. Very good, herdsman. Well, what does that relate to? Hmm. Krishna was a cow herder. You understand me? Diversity. Right. There is Krishna with his cows or his bulls. Cattle call, CC. By the way, it's 33 in Freemasonry, C and C, 3 and 3, numerology. Now, Christ was a shepherd herd. Is it different? So, hey, you Hindus, you Muslims, and you Christians, and you Catholics, and you Buddhists, get along. I'm showing you. You have the Good Shepherd, a movie about the skull and bones. You should all know that. Of course, it's there in your face, skull and bones. Biggie Smalls, S and B. Hmm. Wow. Now. The Boulet Society, when you research it, you find the Berzelius Society and the Black Skull and Bones. Berzelius Society. Yale University, Skull and Bones, Berzelius Society. You find Yale University there. What's going on with secret societies at university? I have my Masters of Fine Arts. And you have Biggie Smalls, BS. The same letters, the rapper. Hmm, BS, is it bullshit? Right. And your Nazis love the skull and bone symbol, which is the moon when it's full. You can see the rays. When you moon gaze, she makes an X and a cross. Your Nazis are telling you something different and deeper. You have Acellus tertitus or tortoise or taurus in boots. Outstretched fingers. What does it mean? The herd's man. Hmm, the last star of the Big Dipper's hand. Wow. Well, that's BK, Kappa Buddhist. Hmm. That's Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Who else is that? That's Burger King. Yeah. Okay. You better know your stars. In Boots Constellation, what does it mean? The driver, ox, oxygen. Don't you breathe? Right. Your Kundalini is the ox. It's a bull. Now, your driver or a plowman. Hmm. Well, what is that now? That would be your taxi driver with De Niro doing interesting themes and an underage girl in that movie. Jodie Foster. You have your Paul McCartney, which is your PM. Hmm. So what's that relate to? Let's go back. Hmm. We have what? Plowman is P and M for Paul McCartney. There it is. And who else? Let's see here. Your Prime Minister and your Master P or PP, the rapper. PM. Are you kidding me? Mars and Pluto. Murga is also in booties. Murga means to merge, right? Or it's a duck or a goose. Duck? Murga? In booties? Well, wait a minute now, Jay. Uh-oh. We have a Krista Galley in our skull. Crest of the rooster. Review. It's a duck or a bird. The Krista Galley is in your skull, or the Christ of the rooster. There it is, your skull. Wake up, y'all. Wow. You have Duck Hunt, and you're learning how to kill animals. I used to play it. Wow. Nintendo means nine. Navagraha is nine. So when you actually shoot a real duck now, that's your skull, you are doing this to yourself. You are blowing out your own brains. Metaphorically, it's not good. Zodiac means ring of animals. Don't eat meat either. Be careful. No judgment. Now, we have Murga, we have Nekar in booties. Neck? Hmm. What is Nekar? Pardon me. Murga. Pardon me. Right there. M-E-R-G-A. Relates to Murda. Murder Inc. Murga. And Murga is your gamer. It's the same word. Gamer and skull and bones is there. Look. Be careful with your video games. Now, Nekar is in booties. It means to beckon, move. It relates to chow. Wow, are you kidding me? Chinese and all this stuff. Yao, tiao, the yellow star, booties, Nekar. Hmm, well, chow, huh? Relates to what? Chow bello, Italian. Are you kidding me? Yes, Nicola Ceausescu, a Romanian uh, dictator. Chow, oh, I'm blowing your mind. Now, booties has al, al cal urops, right, which is lollipops. And it relates to what here? Hmm, let's see. Relates to the ox again, the plowman. Hmm, cow driver. There it is. Cow driver. Alcohol, cow driver. Like, kind of like your what? Hmm, CD, compact disc. Or you're a man in the rodeo who bully the Taurus field, the sacred bull, and kill it for fun. The matador, 
review. Your matador, Taurus, matador, Taurus, and meta for matador is earth. So he's killing himself. Review. You have Taurus fields. Very good. Let me go down here now. Right, red and blue lights. Now, we know we have what? Rainbows. Your sun shows that. Very good. Wow. Review. You have red and blue blood in your body. Metador, matador, Taurus fields, killing. Right. And we have people stabbing themselves. When you kill the bull, meta, you are the earth. Cuboid bone in your foot. Earth is the cube in geometry. Matadors, you're killing yourself. Anyone who eats meat, it is what it is. Be careful. Your constellation now. Booties. We have uh, Izar or Razi. Hmm, what is Izar? Izar means a girdle. Girl, your pelvis, wake up, y'all, means a girdle. Astrology is in your bones. So how is it evil and of the devil? And if you say it's of the devil, it's in your bones, and then we're all devil worshipers, right? No. You're re I'm debunking all this bullshit right now. We have also Ark. Taurus and Bootis, Taurus, are you kidding me? Now, Arcturus means the beer guard star. Beer guard? Hmm, kind of like your Ursa, Major, the she bearer, Lusa bearer, Lucifer. The swastika, by the way, is Ursa Major. So your Nazis, it's a cult, it's astrology. Yeah, they knew their shit. Now, Muprid was a star in Bootis. And it relates to uh, many things here. And let's just see, it, remain, it basically relates to the, um, the lance. I'm looking for the lance. Yeah, the lance. Right there, Sir Lancelot. Okay, that's a star once again. Mufrid in booties. Now you have Sir Lancelot, okay? That's astrology. Wake up. You have Seganus in boots. It means the reaper or the harvester. Well, review. You have the harvest movie with a one-eye symbol. Review, that's an Illumina that's a Illuminati symbol. All your celebrities do it. Cover one eye. Harvest. And then the Reaper. Hmm. The Grim Reaper is known to be Kronos or Saturn or Satan. Now, you have a rapper called M.F. Grim. You understand me? Grim coincidence. And of course, genius is the same word as what? Are you kidding me? I'm blowing your mind. The same word as Seganus. So, or sickness. If you just watch this and don't do research, you are the problem, not the demons or the Illuminati. They do their work, and then they get your human actors in movies to manifest um, the star system to then make your, I don't know, reality through your bones and your animals. Yeah, don't let your celebrities lead you and do satanic symbols, and you don't research it, and you're just spending money supporting what? Sacrifice, animals, pedophilia, I'm showing you. Look at all my videos, love yourself, and please donate if you like my work. Any money is acceptable. It's all in my subscription box. And once again, if you want a reading, rawzen617 at gmail.com. $10 donations. Much love to you all. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shiva Boom Om, J-H-E.